Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, as well as host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast. I am starting to wonder, are we going to start actually seeing some corrupt politicians in the court system facing charges? This is what everybody has been waiting for. We have been begging, screaming, hollering that these corrupt politicians need to be held accountable. So is this the beginning of a new trend? I guess we'll see. Right Wing News uh, reported that the New York Times report New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is facing criminal charges. They reported this on July 19th of 2017 by Casey Fiano. Now, at first I did not report this because I wanted to dig deeper and make sure that this was actual um, factual news. And yes, it is <laughs> factual news. Good job, Right Wing News, for, for covering this. And uh, so let's get into the crux of the situation. The New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is not one of America's favorite politicians, especially among those who back the blue. His support for criminals and for police officers has infuriated people across the country, but criminal charges he is now facing might cause him to lose whatever meager support that he has left in him. So what has caused this? Well, two separate grand juries have heard information related to the criminal investigations into de Blasio involving crimes like pay-to-play schemes and illegal fundraising. According to the New York Times, de Blasio used these illegal fundraising efforts while campaigning, while potentially sticking New York City taxpayers with the bill. Who is surprised by this? Why are we not seeing Hillary Clinton in these handcuffs for pay-to-play. It is alleged that de Blasio, along with his senior aides, took hundreds of thousands of dollars, passed them through upstate New York County committees, and then gave it to the Democratic candidates. This was in a failed effort to take the state Senate out of the Republican hands in 2014. And if the allegations are found to be true, then this would be a violation of the state election laws. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. is believed to be conducting the state investigation, while Manhattan U.S. Attorney Pre Barana is heading up the federal investigation. The federal investigation is also looking into claims that de Blasio took contributions in exchange for political favors during his 2013 mayoral campaign. So far, the legal bills for the investigation into de Blasio is costing taxpayers approximately $2 million, something that presumptive challenger Nicole Malatowski slammed him for. Our mayor is ethically challenged, Malatowski said outside of City Hall. Quote, he has shown a complete disregard for the taxpayers today by saying he's going to use taxpayer money to pay for his legal fees. It is estimated that at least $11 million has been spent, lawyers, and various corruption probes related to de Blasio. The New York Times says that there are strong indications that de Blasio will be indicted. The grand jury activity appeared to be the strongest indication since the investigations came to light in April that prosecutors may be moving closer to one of them or more indictments, possibly against some of Mr. de Blasio's closest aides, the paper reported. Do you think de Blasio is guilty? Well, just to show you, um, the New York Times has reported on this. Right here is the New York Times. He has allegedly um, stole taxpayer money, and he is planning on taxpayers to fund from his lawyers. Well, my issue, I believe everyone has a right to due process. I believe everybody has a right to innocent until proven guilty. Now, with that being said, I do not believe that the taxpayers should be paying for all of these really great lawyers and these really great attorneys in order to defend him. 
and I will tell you why. Yes, he may have been in his quote-unquote official capacity, but the reality is if it was you or I, we would have to pay for our own attorneys. If it was you or I being accused of such a crime, we would not be afforded excellent attorneys, especially not $2 million worth. Now, I know that some individuals are going to say, well, Lori, you have a right to an attorney and they will uh, appoint you one. Let's make no mistake. De Blasio is not going to have a quote-unquote court-appointed attorney that is the same type of attorneys that represent the average individual. Okay, so as always, what I will do is I will leave information in the description box below so you can read more on what is going on. And another thing that I would like to ask, or a curiosity if you will, are they going to also go after him for RICO violations? Because according to what is being reported, pay to play. Violations of campaign fundraising rules, you know, and, and different situations like that. But when someone steps outside their capacity and what they're supposed to be doing, should they be um, afforded specialized attorneys just because he was a mayor? Yes, this is a very much interesting case, or will be, and hopefully some of these corrupt politicians will finally start having to pay the piper. We will keep up to date with what is going on, and I will let you know. As always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis, and have a wonderful day.